Hello and welcome to Nikon Report Extra, where we discuss the things that we couldn't discuss in the podcast because we didn't know about them. Apparently, Nikon dropped a teaser Z9 number two after we published our podcast. I think they have vendetta against us. I think they waited until the podcast went live and then they went, oh, oh now we can upload trailer, trailer number two. So That's it, that's yeah. it. And I was waiting for it because we recorded the podcast on Monday. We also recorded a video, a short one, saying we're going to talk about it in the future. And then I was waiting to put it in and then we were ready to set up a Zoom call and everything to discuss all this and give it out to you on Wednesday. But obviously that didn't happen. They published it on Wednesday, sort of Tuesday compared to last week. So as they say, best laid plans of mice and men. Exactly. So what we had to do is to go to English Africa yes. in here. To, to recreate it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, they never know. Maybe we film in here. It is a number three. Exactly. Maybe we've got a Z9 with us. Exactly. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. And it's a teaser about how waterproof it in English weather. Yeah. Exactly. Anyway, what we actually uh, noticed from the teaser, and I have just rewatched it so it's fresh in my mind, is the fact that the entire focus is on the subject of video. That's right. So each teaser shows us different uh, mm. sides of the camera, isn't it? Yeah. So for the trailer one, we had the very angle monitor and where the controls were and there were potentially IEF yeah. improvements. M models wearing dots on them, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then for trailer number two, we're in Africa, we're with a, uh, a wildlife photographer yeah Gal Gadot a Gal Gadot look-alike um, who is there shooting so you can see from the screen grab that it's in 8k 30 frames yeah and the funny thing is, is obviously it goes 29 59 and then goes to 30 seconds 30 minutes 30 minutes you're right and then I giggled quietly because I was like <laughs> you're like <laughs> but then it keeps going exactly. and then it goes to an hour and then it goes to two hours and you think okay so what they're trying to say with this is that it shoots 8k and it goes for longer than the 29 minutes, 59 seconds. There was no more limit, so they removed that. Camera doesn't overheat. Yeah. And that's in Africa. That's our takeaway from this trailer. Exactly. I mean, camera is quite large, mm. but to incorporate the design, the way the camera overheats, and we don't want to point fingers. Well, we are pointing the fingers at other brands. They had some issues with overheating. So that's what they're trying to tell us. Yes. Now, apart from that, the other takeaway from this teaser was the lens. Yes. Originally, when I watched it, I thought it was a 70 to 200 2.8 S, but mm -hmm. Rishi said, no, I've got one. Doesn't look like that. That's true. While it looks the same size as 70 to 200 lens, if you look at the little information screen on the barrel, there's a little notch in there and the 70 to 200 doesn't have one. Mm. So that's clue number one. The clue number two, if you look at the Nikon Z lineup, the roadmap of the lens they're trying to release, 100 to 400 lens, and that's our take from it, it's not 200 to 600, is about the same size as 70 to 200 lens. Yeah, so you can see the silhouettes of the new lenses that haven't been released yet, and the 100 to 400, when you put it in comparison to the 70 to 200, is almost exactly the same yeah. size. I think 100 to 400 will be basically a new 80 to 400 lens. So, right. so again, if you look at the F mount 70 to 200 and 80 to 400, they're size wise quite comparable. So, obviously, 800 is a little bit thicker. And again, on that video as well, the 100 to 400, the, which allegedly 100 to 400, looks like it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's about the same size, but it's a little bit thicker. So, our conclusion is that they might be releasing 100 to 400 with the Z9? I think so. I think it's going to be announced at the same time. And uh, you, th because you thought about 400 mil prime, isn't that it? That was what I had originally thought and had heard and seen on rumor sites yeah. and things like that. I would love it if they'd release more than one telephoto lens mm -hmm. with the Z9, but it's nice to see that it's not one that I expected. Okay, here's my wild speculation on that. Yeah. Okay, if 100 to 400 is not happening, then it's 400 lens, mm. then it's potentially 405.6 because the size wise, it would be have some sort of fluorite element that they could shrink it potentially. Mm. So, but obviously, it's probably 1% out of 99. I'm 99% certain it's 100 to 400 lens. Okay, well, we will see. Okay, we also got a better look at the back of the camera. So, we now can see the buttons a lot more clear. Mm -hmm. So, we've got more information at the bottom. And obviously, that's where normally you would have your white balance and quality buttons. So, we yeah. have a voice mem memo there as well. Yeah, so it looks like we've got a voice memo, quality white balance in place of having the secondary small LCD. Yeah, so it's no longer there. We've also got an additional eye button. So 
Uh, that's for when you're shooting vertically, which is interesting because you can use the eye menu while also using the viewfinder. So if you've got your eye to the viewfinder and you're holding the camera vertically, you can just drop your thumb down there. So you can either press it there and then use the joystick to navigate the menu. So if you have a touch screen activated, then you can just use your second thumb, let's say, and just uh, do that. Exactly. We've also got um, one thing that has been mentioned already is the door lock. Yeah. Um, that's quite obvious and prominent now. So it means that the door won't just flap open when you're holding the camera, which exactly. is quite interesting. But you were pointing out this flat space above the LCD screen at the top of the camera. That's very interesting to me because obviously you've got a little uh, screen that Z6 and Z7 has, but then the area next to it on the right is completely flat. We can see Z9 logo in there. Mm. But my question was to you is why would you just make an empty space there and don't add, let's say, another function button. So my guess is that this Z9 logo, it could be a touch sensitive area to a certain setting. I'm not sure what it could be, but... And you don't think it's got anything to do with... You think the GPS is housed solely in the top and it's not in the side of the camera, potentially? Well, assuming it's really similar to D6, then it would be where the prism is, so where the LCD is. And I guess, while D6 could have a quite a large prism, just because you need to accommodate optical prism as well as GPS, because mirrorless cameras have LCD, they are much smaller to manufacture, so you don't need to put a piece of glass in there. So I think there's enough space for GPS unit in there. So my question is, why this empty space? Space, why there is no bus in there. Mm. I think there's a reason there. So we probably, hopefully we'll find out in the next teasers. Um, also, one thing we forgot to mention is that at the bottom where the built-in grip is, we also got Kensington lock similar to what we have on D6 cameras, so which mm -hmm. is going to be useful for professional photographers who may need to leave their cameras strapped to a chain on some sports events, let's say. Yeah, exactly. Now, next week in order to not miss out on the opportunity to see teaser number three, assuming there is a yeah. teaser number three, we will be recording the podcast just a little bit later. So uh, it will be down to when Nikon actually released the teaser. Absolutely. So if they released on Tuesday or Wednesday, we will record the same day. It will come out the day after. So, but, so basically, we don't want to be out of date the moment the podcast, the video cast is published. So yeah. we want to make sure the news is there. We can have a good discussion and you guys have it. Exactly. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye.